fine. Uh, okay, hello, it's me as an update. Um, you can see my hair is a bit different. I decided not to use straighteners as much to try and improve the condition of my hair because it's quite dry. Um, I don't know whether it looks better. Most people say my waves look better, a bit like this, but I do prefer it straight. But anyway, uh, the main thing I wanted to update about is the fact that I have a job. Um, it's not the job I mentioned in the last video. It's um, one in CBR, which I found basically by um, I just thought, okay, I'm gonna go to CBR and I'm gonna have a walk around and try and find I don't know whatever, not find a job, just like have an explore. And then I saw this cafe, I think it was about midnight or something, I saw this cafe, it said, um, oh, we have um, a boss you too, we have, we're looking for jobs. So I went in and asked the boss, he said, come back tomorrow with your CV and blah, 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 and we'll talk about it. And then I went back the next day with my CV, had a bit of an interview, and he said, okay, yeah, it was fine. And so I got it, which is really good because I am so skint after Thailand. Um, and I'm probably going to have to delay paying my rent. Uh, until I can earn enough money to pay it, um, until I get paid, my loan gets paid through in April. Um, so that's good. Um, the main thing is actually, one sort of thing I'd like to sort of comment about is actually, as a Western person, um, somebody's English, even though my Japanese is probably just as good as um, you know other exchange students who have obviously studied the same amount of time as me, but. If they're Asian, if they're Korean or the Chinese, they tend to have an advantage because um, Japanese uh, shops, Japanese chains, will have no problem hiring Asian people. Um, but when it's a, a Western person, they tend to sort of be more hesitant. Um, and I've been rejected actually based on the fact that I was Western. Um, so it's been a bit more difficult. And also they're quite strict in how good a Japanese you have to be. Even in convenience stores, you have to be very good at Japanese, even though they don't even use that much Japanese. Uh, I'd imagine so. Yeah, that was a bit difficult. I mean, there were a couple of rude people actually. Um, there was one where I think my Japanese, I just like, um, I didn't use like, the most polite form, um, which I've done with other interviews, and they've, you know, they've not said anything. But there were a couple, or no, one in particular, which basically said, you know, if you can't use Japanese like 100% correctly, um, then we're not going to hire you. Goodbye, and just left me. So, yeah, some really quite reluctant to take um, Western people, so I was really um, despairing actually a little bit as to whether I could actually get a job and um, whether my Japanese was good enough, but then my Japanese friends told me that they have seen other foreign people who don't have perfect Japanese um, working in jobs, I thought yeah I can do it, I mean I can speak, as I said in the last video, I can speak Japanese in most conversations but obviously it's not perfect, so um, Obviously, from Japanese point of view, um, why would I want to hire somebody who's Japanese is not perfect when I can hire somebody who's perfect at Japanese? But I guess in Shibuya there are more foreign people, so having a foreign person there is an advantage. Um, plus, it's a European food cafe. So. But yeah, so I have a job. I start tomorrow at six, and I need the money. So um, as for today, actually, um, I went to this party. It was basically. Um, from the website where I uh, find students to teach English and um, yeah I had quite a good time all by myself but then I met a couple of people Japanese and um, foreign and yeah, yeah I had a pretty good time um, got a few business cards and phone numbers blah blah uh, so yeah that was also nice um, what else is there yeah probably not going to be going, uh, going on trips anywhere far the amount of money I have. Oh my god, yeah, that was it. Today was quite manic because my card had yet again for like the third or fourth time been blocked because of fraud. Fraud, even though um, my card hasn't been used by somebody else. I don't know why. Basically, um, my card was blocked. I couldn't use the card anyway. I couldn't withdraw any money. Um, and then I tried phoning the bank and it wouldn't go through. It was said this number is not available, blah, blah. Um, I was like, what do I do? I kept phoning the bank, it wouldn't answer. I was like, I can't do anything, I mean, I can't draw money, I can't call the bank to unblock it because in the past I, it's been blocked um, before and I phoned the bank and said, hey, this, you know, this blocked, um, could you please unblock it because, um, you know, I have to type up blah, uh, they've unblocked it and it's been fine, but this time I couldn't phone them. 
Um, but then I was, in, uh, I was in this train station and I just realised, hang on, did I put the correct code for the number? Because not only do I put 0044 for the UK code, uh, for my particular phone I have to put 00330144, um, which I wasn't doing. And so I did that, I phoned them, the phone rang for like five minutes and I was so desperate I just kept on waiting as the phone rang and somebody eventually picked it up. I was in an noisy underground station so I couldn't hear them properly, um, so I was like, what, 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 I can't hear what you're saying. Um, eventually I got through to the broad department and went through security questions and I was able to withdraw money. So that was okay, that was quite a worry because um, I thought that I wouldn't be able to get any more money, which would be quite serious, um, yeah. But that's fine, it's okay now, um, I've got a job, I'm earning money which also keeps you from being bored because it's I've got a holiday for one more month and so I go back. I'm kind of looking forward to going back and studying actually but I think yeah I'm seeing this now as an opportunity to earn money and also there are a few activities in my club over this coming month so I'll be going to those so that's good. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Yep. Okay so I will end it there. Goodbye.